How do you feel about being hailed as one of the the big acts to watch out for in 2008? I'm excited. I'm very flattered by it. Um, And I I, I thought it would cause me to feel under pressure, but I don't, to be honest. I mean, I've never... um, Because I'm kind of, you know, I'm doing really well, and and I've proved that, you know, it was kind of worthwhile me being tipped for for big things, you know, Mm -hmm. by the single doing so well, and, you know, the pre-order on the album's good, and and stuff like that but there's some people that are just going to want to kind of scrutinise me and bring me down just because you know I'm very much in everyone's faces here at the moment Um, not by choice you know I've done about six interviews um, but because I won the Brit Award and Mm. and because of Kanye West big me up and because I won the BBC Sound Poll and and all this stuff like people people have been writing about me and people don't seem to realise that like there's no there's no, no quotes in these things from me like you know yeah it's all just a um, one sided thing from- it's, yeah it's just all it's all people other people like who I'm so pleased they're writing about me I'd rather be written about than not written about because that's my job now yeah but um but there's some people that are out to scrutinise me and and I just you know I can't really I haven't really got time for that because I never. I never claimed that I would sell a million albums. I never claimed that I'd be number one. Yeah. I'm happy selling 5,000 records, yeah. And it's all these journalists that are going, oh, she's, she's going to be massive. And if I'm not massive, they're going to be like, oh, but it didn't happen. That's their fault. They're being hypocrites <laughs> saying that I didn't do well. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So I don't, I don't feel under pressure by it at all. They can all go and, they can all go and wallow on their own. I don't care. <laughs> It sounds but like you got the right attitude. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's just about, I mean, of course, the Brit Award's amazing. Like, it feels a little bit ridiculous getting a Brit Award before I've done anything yet. Mm. But, you know, I'm, I'll go with that one. I've always wanted a Brit Award. <laughs> and, um, you know, the BBC Sound Poll, I thought the whole top 20 were amazing. So, um, that stuff is, is great. And, you know, um, but I don't, want, I don't want people to start, like, to start kind of, I don't know not enjoying it because it feels like it's there's too much hype going on. Yeah. No, I don't I think don't, I don't so. Want that. I think it's really incredible that you've you've won so many accolades considering your, your album's only going to be released next I week. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's insane. How have your friends and, and your family responded to this? Like you mentioned your mum had the single on the table earlier on. Um, you know, are they super excited for you? Is she going around and showing everyone your single and yeah, no, they are very excited, all of them. Yeah, they're, they're really proud as well, which is lovely. Um, but they, they're great because they're not too kind of like, um, they don't kind of rush me when I get when I get in the house because I'm away a lot at the moment. Okay. They don't kind of attack me like, like, what's going on, what's going on? Like, they kind of, they, they let me kind of wind down as well, which is lovely. So they manage to hold their excitement in so I can rest a bit. Okay, good. Um, but yeah, they're very excited. Good. Now, talk us through some of the songs on 19. Um, were you worried at all when you were writing some of them, you know, about previous relationships, about what that person's response would be to the song? Um, no. <laughs> no, I wasn't at all. Um, no, I mean, I, since I was little, I've always, um, I've never been able to say how I feel in conversation. Just, I, I don't know why. I just, I hate confrontation. So, um, I, I never say it just like when I'm talking to them. And, um, I didn't think it was very obvious, but then, um, but then obviously he knows. But he's fine with it. He's fine. Um, and we're still really good friends. So um, no, I didn't. No one's ever asked me that actually. Mm. It's like if I was worried how he'd react, but um, no, I wasn't worried. <laughs> okay, good. No, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Do you have any any big favourites on the album, or um, do you love all the songs equally? I mean, I, you know, they're, 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 I think my an album's a bit like a baby, like you know, mm. just kind of watching it grow and come together. But um, I do love the whole album. But I love Melt My Heart to Stone, um, and I love Hometown Glory, and I love Make You Feel My Love as well. Uh, did you have a lot of songs that you've carried over that you didn't include on Nineteen that you, you're planning to bring out on your next album? No, I, I did, when I signed my record, though, I had three songs. Wow. Um, and so my my album is all of my songs, apart from, like, three songs that are going to be, like, B-sides on the singles. Mm-hmm. Um, so, no, my next album is very much unwritten, <laughs> um, which is a bit daunting. But um, I'm not kind of... Um, I'm not planning on writing an album while like, I'm on the road or anything, because I think we're a lot of... Um, not all artists, but I think we're a lot of acts that are, have so much hype and coverage around them. I think where they always go wrong with their second record is that firstly it's rushed by the record company mm-hmm. and, and by the band not wanting to lose the space that they've created with the first record. And um, I think that they kind of, um, they start believing all, 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 the, um, all, the, all, the, the, all the success. I think they start believing it. And then, and then like, and, and 
I think that, like, being on the road, I think it, it can be a bit of a lonely place and you can get a bit pissed off at times that you're not at home and or if you miss your friend's, like, 21st birthday or if you miss your cousin's wedding or yeah. if your mum has a baby and you're not there. Like, and I think sometimes that they course become a bit self-indulged and, and kind of self-obsessed mm -hmm. and, and just complain about a lifestyle that lots of other people want and lots of people support you in. So I, I don't want to ever write an album like, oh, I miss home and I'm sitting in a hotel room and I get forced to do things I don't want to do. I never want to write an album like that because I, I just think the worst thing you can do when you're in the public eye is complain about it publicly. Yeah. So that's the worst thing you can do. So I'm not planning on writing an album like this year so it can come out next year. I'm going to do this album, promote it and do lots of tours, I hope, and, and, and then... Um, and then and then go away for a couple of months and then write an album that year and then come out a year after. Adele, thank you so much for your time. I wish you all the best for these next few weeks. I'm sure they're going to be very, very, very exciting. And I hope, to, I hope to see you soon. I hope it'd be lovely to come. So, yeah. Yeah, you should. We've got much better weather here. You know that. I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> all right, then take care. You too. Goodbye. Bye.